Right, okay, so this is our third frame, and again, uh, like last time, I haven't put anything in the frame animation yet, I'm still just working with the layers. I did um, I did lock the layers so that uh, nothing could happen to them, but for my layer 1 copy, all I did was uh, duplicate that layer again, and then this is the layer that I've created. So if we go back to uh, the second layer that I did, uh, you can see that from there, our next movement into this third layer. Now you can see the whole body has moved down a couple of pixel lines. Yeah, and that's because as the figure puts the weight on that foot uh, that's nearest to us, the whole body goes down. So the, the leg that it's on, the weight that's being carried on that leg, forces the leg to bend a little bit more at the knee. Um, the foot is still uh, flat to the floor, but if we just go back to the, the previous layer, you'll see that it's moved along a little bit. So this was where it was, and on our new layer, it moves along to a more sort of central position to the body, so it's going further back, so he's walking on the spot. Uh, and you get a bit more of a bend in this leg. Um, the whole body has come down. Um, we'll come back to that in a second. This leg um, has sort of curved upwards more, and we're on the last layer. You can see the foot was pointing straight down. On our new layer, it's now sort of pointing almost at a diagonal angle. The arms as well. Uh, have both gone out a little bit. I've just taken sort of roughly one sort of layer of pixels off each one so that they're at the, the absolute maximum they're going to get to now in terms of how far away from the body they are. Um, this arm is pointing out slightly and uh, this one it's sort of pointing backwards slightly. If you compare it to our last layer, you can see that the arms have moved ever so slightly. Um, so in terms of the entire body coming down, uh, when I say the entire body, I mean from the top of the head to sort of the top, the legs, to the sort of um, hip area. And the whole thing has come down by a couple of pixels. Um, so to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn the visibility off this layer that we've created and go back to our last layer. I'm going to take the lock off and show you what I did. Uh, to move the entire body down, uh, all I did was go to the rectangular marquee tool, which is over here. Click and drag over the body, making sure I don't pick up that sort of guideline that I put in at the top to show where the head level was. Once we've got that selection, go to your move tool. You can just move it down. You can see the icon changes to scissors. You can move it down a couple, and I think I moved it slightly forward as well. Um, you can see the layer underneath poking through there, but that's okay. Now you can always use, um, don't use an eraser to get rid of that because you'll get rid of the layer underneath. What you need to do to get rid of that is uh, just put it on white so that we're still on this layer and draw sort of white over that. Now I'm going to undo that because I don't want to actually do it to that layer. Um, Command and D or Control and D will deselect and get you out of that. But that's what I did to create this layer which I'm just going to put a, a new top level layer. And I'm just going to put the visibility back on and you'll see that the entire body's come down and it's moved forward slightly. And that's because the weight's been put on that leg um, and that's what happens to the body. The whole body comes down. Right, so the next one that we're going to move to is we're going to make the transition. As this leg starts coming back, and this leg starts going sort of further back. This will come further forward, and the light blue one will go further back. 